Hello compadres, Legend Builder here, and today, well, first off, it is TGIF ROM Reviews, and today, I'm going to be reviewing one of the games on my iPad that I've been wanting to review for a while, and it is this game right here, and it's called Tap Tycoon. Now, for those of you who don't know what Tap Tycoon is, it's basically, um, it's almost like Cookie Clicker, I guess you could say, except, um, in ways, it's really different from Cookie Clicker. Um, when the game loads up here, um, I'll show you. So, yeah. Basically, the game is you basically build a little town city thingy. You make money, and then you make it bigger. So, as you can see here, I have my town. Let me turn this down a bit. It's a bit too loud. And, um, yeah. So, um, basically, the point of the game is... Um, basically, all these buildings here, I've kind of upgraded them to as much as I want. But, uh... The reason why I can't buy any of these, even though since I'm, I'm really rich, is because you see at the top here it says profits 43.37 AD per second. Um, well, that's how much money I'm making from all these buildings. But uh, you see, I just pulled up a little bar here. This is I'm buying. If I click one of these buttons, it I buy like times 100. Like if I press that, I just bought 100 upgrades. So, um, if I, if I press times 1 now, I can upgrade everything. So, basically, times 1, it explains itself. I can upgrade a building by times 1. Times 10, you can upgrade a building by times 10. Uh, times 100. That's, like, 100 upgrades. And then max would upgrade to the max, um, height you can. Oh, and, um, you see that yellow building there? It's getting upgraded. Yeah, when you reach 700, the building's look like the ones down here in the little list here because if you see the buildings will actually match up let me get my guy out of the way for example you see the entertainment area how there's um on the scroll list there's like a ton of colors on it but on the um, like over here it's um there's no colors on it it's just plain once it reaches 700 as you can see the restaurant now has lights and all it has that little hot dog sign now which is pretty cool and you can see it up here has like that little cool little hangout area but yeah that's not the point of the game the point of a game is let me put that back to times 100 it's to basically build a company right and then you go over here you can upgrade uh, how much money you make per tap you also buy unlockables which are is basically what upgrades these like um for example i'll show you right here the best of honey boo boo upgrades entertainment's profit by times four which sounds good, but it's not really that great. Oh, I can even get it right now, sweet. And you see this button right here, prestige. Well, basically, prestiging, I've prestiged six times or seven times, something like that. When you prestige, you get bitter rewards. You sell all your businesses, like all these buildings would be gone if I prestige. Um, and it says, though, as you prestige, it gets more expensive to prestige. Like, as you can see here on the message, it says, I need at least 575.64 AE to prestige, and, uh, I only have 2.37 AE, so, yeah. But when you prestige, um, oh, wait, no, I'll show you that later. When you prestige, all these stats right here, you'll, um, gain, basically you'll gain these, but as you, um, you see these tech cards, I do not gain any more tech cards when I proceed. You did gain a lot uh, at the beginning, but you no longer gain for, um, tech cards when you proceed. Oh, I see. And that guy's Rocket Boy. He gives you like gifts, like um, how he did right there. He gave me 500.80 AE, and he gives you little gifts like that. It's pretty helpful. I could tear him off if I wanted to, but um, eh, I like him around. So yeah. Now let's get on with the rest of it. As you can see here, <clears throat> this is a new function to the game. You can actually create or search for a group to join. Uh, I don't know what the groups do, but uh, yeah, you can. And this guy, if you've been looking at him, he's just a guy that'll give me double income for four hours if I watch this video, but I'm not going to bore you guys with that. Now let's go on to the achievements. Basically, you complete achievements by, um, well... Um, uh, you can, I'm gonna skim through the achievements here so you guys can read them, but, um, basically if you do these tasks, you'll get rewards, and basically you see the stars right there, that means, like, um, basically, once it reaches full stars, that means that I basically uh, completed that, uh, uh, tier of achievements, I guess you could say, like, um, uh, how do I explain this? 
basically, once you complete, like, say if I did 100k tasks, I could collect these 10 diamonds, and I'd go to the third star, and, like, it'd be do 500,000 taps, something like that. And once I tap 500,000 times, actually doubles the amount of, uh, diamonds you got from the last time, so by then, I would be getting 20, uh, diamonds, then I'd be getting 40 diamonds, then I'd be getting 80 diamonds, which is pretty cute. I just missed the rocket boy here, there. But this is the online feature of the game. Um, you saw earlier how, uh, ooh, let's get that, I guess. And, uh, you saw earlier how it says, uh, army sent. Well, if I prestige, you'll send 297 army members, or, well, Actually, I don't think it's going to send any when I proceed just time, because it says now I have 297 after I sent, I uh, still have 297, but I'm not sure. Um, so yeah, when you, basically the army is, um, here, let me put this down. You see in, like, the top right uh, corner there of this black little box thingy, oh, it says war in three days, basically. Well, um, I'm actually recording this on Wednesday right now. This is supposed to be happening, like, every Saturday, so it should be saying war in one day from when you are. But this is Wednesday, so yeah. Um, basically, oops, I did not mean to do that. Basically, that means that, um, war is basically, uh, well, you all know what war is, so, yeah. But when you do war, you basically, um, the more, it, the war works on how many troops you have, like, you see that we're just barely hanging on to 21st place here. Because uh, Norway has 10.97 million troops. We have 11.05 million troops. And Brazil has 11.07 million troops. But say we, um, Norway caught up and got 11.06 million troops. We would actually fall down to 22nd place. So they would take 21st place. But if we got 11.08 troops, we would go into 20th place and replace Brazil. So then they would go into 21st place. I'll never do that again. So yeah, um, that's group. You don't want to see that. So yeah, um, this is global. This is, um, I'm not really sure what this is. Um, if you want to read this. Oh yeah, this is when, um, when you send a certain amount of troops. I only need to, uh, as you see at the bottom there, I only need to send 72 more troops to be in the top 60%. The top 60% will get one of these rewards, which is a tech card, which I'll show you later. So yeah, um, basically... When the higher you up you get in ranks, the more uh, country bonus you get, like you see at the very bottom there. So our country bonus is 700%, meaning that we get 700% more profit from tapping uh, our thing. And that sounds, uh, I'll never say that again. From tapping the screen and um, from basically from uh, our building profits, like our um, business profits, I guess you could say. So yeah. <clears throat> and uh, if you can see at the uh, above that, you can see that it says Canada rank number 21, multiplier times 5.94. That's basically how much it's been um, times by. But you see those, um, you see the bronze, silver, and gold there? So this game's been out for like four or five years. Out of those four or five years, we got three bronze medals and one uh, silver medal, but zero gold. But you get a silver medal by being like it resets every year so if we were in the top 10 you get silver if you're um, in the top 20 you get bronze so we wouldn't get nothing right now if it was like a the last day of the year um but if you're in the top three as you can see here you would get gold so canada was never in the top three and held it until the end of the year we may have been in the top three at once but um I got this game like a couple of years, months ago. I haven't had this game for a year yet, so yeah. This is, and um, I guess for the two, one or two years, we weren't even in the top 20, so um, yeah. And you can see it goes all the way down to top 35. There's, of course, th more than 35 more countries, so um, it's only showing 35. Um, these two up here, this is like the top groups, basically the same thing, except it's groups, which they added, and, and yeah. So I'm going to use a couple of my abilities here, just so I can get some money. Oh, in perfect timing, do you see in the top right corner there, just below the gear? This is like the Wheel of Fortune. So basically, you tap on these businesses, like say if I want to tap on the bank, and you invest all your money into it, you're basically betting your money. So um, if it loses, like see here, it's probably going to lose. Yeah, see the armory one there. So um... 
if you did win, you would actually get double your profits plus a diamond reward, which would be like seven diamonds or something. I've won a couple of times, but um, I only get one diamond. Ooh, I only need one more to get a tech card. Sweet. So, um, anyways, guys, I think that's gonna do it for today. I think I've reviewed everything. Oh yeah, tech cards. I forgot to show you this. Tech cards. They basically like um, permanent, permanent. Uh, I already get confused with those words like permanent um, upgrades like these upgrades once you prestige you lose all your upgrades you lose all your businesses yada yada but these are forever the tech cards um, like I'll skim through them here like this is one's time to restaurant profit so it's time to uh, department store profit and by the way the restaurant is um, the one to the far left it's a yellow one department store is the one to the very far left the blue one Times three armory profit. That one's a good one. That's more well, like the um, the yellowish brownish one in the middle there. Times two media center. That would be the one where the fat guy's in the way. Let me shoo this guy for a second. It's that one to the far right there. Times one point five stack of bill chance. Um, I'll show you what that is. Like um, let me like you see that stack of that bill stack that just landed on the ground. Let me see if I could get another one because they do. There's one right there on the ground. You see it? It's like on the, yeah, he just picked it up. It's basically, when you get a stack of bill, you get more money instead of it. That money that just comes out of the ground, or out of the air. Like, this single money is not as good as a stack of bill money. Because I think it's like times two or times three the money of just one bill. So it's like three bills put together, basically. So it's pretty good. And this, one another 1.5 stack of bill amounts. Oh wait, this is stack of bill amount, this is stack of bill chance, so amounts like makes more, gives more profits to the bill, stack bill, this one gives a better chance of getting the stacks of bill, but bills I mean, yeah, so um, that's about it, I have another upgrade here, so I'll just get that, that's about the game guys, um, I hope you enjoyed this TGIF from um, game reviews, um, and uh, because I did enjoy it, definitely it was really fun so yeah um i hope you guys enjoyed because um my battery's about to die so i'm gonna wrap this up quickly and uh thank you all for watching if you enjoyed this video um please subscribe and stick around a bit because um you can really use the support and we will i'll see you all in the next video take care and bye bye